Hey guys, Steve here from Bloom Audio. Today, we've got the all new Astle & Kern SB2000T. Uh, it's a hybrid solid state and tube player. It sounds amazing, uh, it looks amazing. But before we get to all of that, there's something I'm so excited about that, I need to hijack my standard review format to talk about it for a minute. So, in the high-end digital audio player game, there tend to be kind of three categories for how you listen to music, you know, what are your options that are available for that. On the one end, you have uh, players like the Cayenne N3 Pro, which is 100% pure player. You put your music on an SD card, you plug it into the player, you listen to your music. There's no apps, there's no uh, you know, Wi-Fi streaming or downloads or anything else like that. On the other end, you've got you know, Ibasso's lineup, like the DX300 uh, or, or the, you know, the old 160 or any of those other ones, where it's basically just an open Android OS. You can download the Google Play Store and download any app you like, whether it's music streaming or productivity or games or whatever else, and use that on the device along with copying over your music files that you have on disk. You can basically do whatever you want uh, pretty easily all on the device. Astle and Kern has operated somewhere in between there, where the device mostly operates strictly as a player. However, they have a list of allowed apps that you can download onto a you know PC or, or laptop, copy it over from the computer to the player and install it from there. Uh, and again, this only works with select apps and you can't download anything directly onto the player. SP2000T shifts that whole paradigm over. So now a selection of those allowed apps that you could install on the player are available to download directly on the player. You don't need the middleman, you don't need to sideload, you just download, you know, Cobuzz, Apple Music, Spotify, a couple of really popular ones are on there. Not the full selection of 30 something apps that you can download, but it's a huge step forward in the usability of these players. Honestly, to me, uh, so big that I almost want to just say, hey, it's the new Astel and Kern SB2000T. It's got tubes, sounds great, looks great, and it's an Astel and Kern player that you no longer need to sideload apps onto. Just sort of end the review there. But I'm sure you guys would like at least a little bit more detail about it. So we're going to keep going. As you can see, the device itself is very much in keeping with Astle and Kern's uh, standard designs, very like angular, uh, sort of almost futuristic looking. Uh, you know, the, um, you know, the knob has a great feel to it, great response. Again, solid buttons. Uh, they're back to the, you know, play, pause backward forward uh, design on this after kind of going a little more experimental with the SE180. In the back here is sort of the tube window uh, where you can see it light up. It is not, these are, you know, not um, tubes that pr actually pr generate a lot of light. So they, uh, yeah, it is it is an LED light in the back that shines there and also your quality indicator, uh, but it's pretty cool. All right, and then in here, we got the sort of flagship Astel and Kern experience. Uh, full disclosure, I've already opened this all up, but I'll just doing it again to kind of show it off. So when you open up the lid, this took me a while the first time I opened an SP2000. But there's a case in here. So pop this, and then you open this. And this is like a nice, genuine leather case. Um, colors, you know, kind of a vintage look to it. Uh, Complements the black pretty nicely. Uh, and again, they also offer, if you don't like the color on this, they offer different cases that you can purchase after the fact. Uh, you know, if you want 
a you know black case or something like that. And you, you can see the case has a little space there, so you could still see that sort of uh, tube window. This case works pretty well with the buttons. I've been using it with the case on and haven't had any issues with the buttons there. Put this back down. Uh, then we like you know, get this. This is where the player was originally. Um, it comes with some screen protectors for you, a you know, quick start guide, how to use the basic functions of the player, and then your warranty information, and this is where it's the slot cover for the micro SD card. Uh, I guess that's an extra one because I believe there's one in there right now just to keep that clean if you don't have a card in there. And then in here, I'm not going to take it out because it's packed up so nicely, is the cable. It's a very nice, sturdy USB cable. You know, very solid package, well put together, kind of fun to take apart. So there were a couple features that I wanted to show you guys on here, but the player doesn't have any kind of built-in screen capture feature. So just uh, bear with me here. Some quality issues potentially in the video or with the fact that this battery is almost dead. So the first thing is, you know, installing different apps. So this one's already been set up and used quite a bit. But if we go in here, services, you can see the apps we already have on here. When you go to download from services, you can see a list of apps that have been provided here for you to download if you want. Now these are all not necessarily the latest version, but versions which have been tested and verified with it. You can very easily just go ahead and hit download. Okay. And it'll start that download for you. And then you can go ahead, oh, download's done. And you can go ahead and install it right in here. You can go ahead and open it up. And we're ready to log in. So, uh, obviously, like that is really awesome. So, the other thing I wanted to note is when you're in an app and you've been playing music, sorry, so playing music in the app. Now, when I get out of the app, let's say I wanted to go into settings for some reason. Now I can pull down from the top and I can see what I was playing in the app. So this is a new feature with this one. Uh, I wasn't, and so I can you know hit play or pause as needed. Now this comes in extra handy with the last new feature I want to show off here and that is the amp selection. So from here, you can hold down on the amp and you get this cool little thing. So right now I've got it on full tube, but you've got the selector that goes around and basically determines the percentage of op amp versus tube in the hybrid mode. So while all of the visual, physical, and interface stuff is great, what it really comes down to is what does this device sound like? You know, how is it presenting the music? How are the, the DAC and AMP capabilities of the device uh, that I'm going to have to listen to essentially at, you know, a $2,500 player here? So what the SP2000T gives you is what I would say a very neutral studio-like sound, um, but just shifted a little bit to really provide a higher level of engagement. There's just, you know, Astle and Kern has gotten really good at balancing and tuning these devices uh, to put just enough emphasis in the low end. And I think there's more in the sub bass here, not really in the mid bass. And, you know, bump the mids and the treble around just enough that it sounds neutral, 
but it's got that engagement factor that's not quite neutral. And that's what we've got here. Now, what really shifts it up is in the op amp mode, you've got the most sort of neutral version of that with the strongest definition in the highs, uh, you know, incredible separation and, uh, and great air and all of that. But you have the tubes, which not only do you have tubes, you have a selection of hybrid modes you can move through, as we already talked about, that enable you to, to sort of slowly tweak that. So it's not just, you know, op amp mode and tube mode with one being stronger definition and detail and the other one being warm, smooth and sweet. It's basically a dial that you're going through to dial in your preferred balance of, you know, studio sound or smooth and sweet tube sound. And it really, again, it adds this whole other dimension to the player and to the sound that you can also, you know, determine based on what headphones you're using as well. So I tend to lean towards the, you know, smooth and sweet sound signatures. So when I plug in the Meze Empyrean, I actually, that's already got enough of that built into it. So I actually listened to that on the full op amp mode and I thought that was the, the best sound for the Empyrean. Uh, that extra bit of definition and air that the player is giving you really helps balance out the Empyrean nicely. Uh, but then I hit the 64 Audio Duo, which we also recently reviewed. Um, and I wanted that just a little bit into the, the hybrid mode. Uh, just about, I guess, maybe 20% or whatever that, that line is it gives you. Uh, you know, but then also from 64 Audio, I plugged in a U18S, uh, you know, one of my favorite flagship IEMs. I had that one a bit higher into the hybrid mode, but not in full tube. Then, you know, bringing it back around for, for full tube, I really liked the Meze Elite in the full tube mode. It, it pushes it back a little bit towards the Empyrean, but you still get all of those, those features about the, the Elite, the detail and all of that, but with just a little bit more smoothness, a little bit more warmth, and it creates a great balance uh, with the two. So compared to the rest of Astle and Kern's lineup, you know, you have the SP2000 at around $3,500. You're coming down a thousand to the SP2000T. And then you have, you know, the SE200 and the SE180, um, you know, several hundred less than that. So compared to the SP2000, especially in the op amp mode, there's this characteristic two the treble in the SP2000 where it has this smooth, almost liquid sound while still maintaining this very strong separation and detail in the higher end and resolution and all of that. SP2000T does have that, that separation and the resolution. It doesn't quite have this smoothness in there as well. Now the tubes definitely get you really close uh, where if you're dialing in the hybrid mode, uh, it really pushes the edge on what SP2000 does so well. Uh, and I really think that makes it very strongly competitive as sort of Astell and Kern's flagship, even if it's not necessarily the flagship technically, uh, the performance and the features, the sound and the tuning uh, just really make it a knockout at the price point right now. And, you know, coming down a little bit, comparing it to the SE200, which I thought was Astle and Kern's best value proposition previously, the SP2000T kind of does what both of the SE200's DAC channels do just with the tube mode instead. And I think it does it a little bit better all around too. Where the ESS stack on the SE200 gives you incredible definition 
resolution, just great air and space in the, in the higher end, but it's a little bit base light to my ear. It's a little bit bright tonally. Uh, on the other side, the AKM channel gives you a smoother, a more of a classical Astral and Kern sound, a little bit more like the SP2000. Um, but it's, you know, it's a little bit, doesn't have the mid range in the AKM DAC on the ES200 or SE200. And the SP2000T gives you that sound that's cut, that's that smooth musical sound that you're looking for you know, again with the tubes adjusted as you like uh I'll, but also you know gives you more of that mid-range gives you more of that detail and gets you closer to uh, you know that sp2000 sort of pinnacle sound so right now it really uh you know in this lineup the sp2000t again you know it's more expensive than the se200 by several hundred uh, but it does a, a great job, I think, sitting in between there um, and giving you a lot of sound uh, for the money. In a year that's had a lot of great releases, SP2000T is maybe the most exciting for me. Uh, one, I love the whole tubes in your pocket concept. Uh, I just love the tube sound as a guitarist. I, I love tube amps and so... They've already got me on board just with that. Then you add in the usability improvements and the ability to download apps more easily, get it set up more quickly. Uh, I think that's a huge win. And right now, for on the digital audio player scene, in terms of the sound, the design, uh, the usability, and everything else, SP2000T is probably the best package on the market right now. Thanks for watching. You can check out the SP2000T along with a lot of other great products at bloomaudio.com. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll be back soon with more hi-fi personal audio content.